All right, we're going to go through how to change the CPL on your, your box project. When you bring in your, your bottom uh, with the stock, the CPL is in the correct orientation. But when you bring in the top or the top with stock, uh, your CPL is going to be in the wrong spot because it's going to be located where it was for the original file. Um, so to do this, we're going to go through and we're going to uh, open up our top with stock. And when the tool store error comes up, we're just going to click off. And so when we go to our isometric view, you'll notice that the CPL is up here, which is where it would have been if I had my, my card box up here. So I'm going to auto stock just like I we've done. So leaving everything at zero and click OK. I'm going to spin my box around so that it looks more like the isometric view that we want. I'm going to put my CPL on this corner right here. So I'm to create a new CPL, we go to Geometry, Create CPL. Uh, we're going to name it, and the name doesn't really matter, and you might end up having to do this more than once depending on uh, how well it works for you the first time. So I just hit a whole bunch of keys, and we're not going to worry about what it, the name of it is. Uh, for Plane, we're going to click on Through Three Points and click OK. All right. And so the first thing it wants is the first point, and that's going to be where the CPL is going to be located. So I want it to be on this corner. And you'll notice as I move my mouse around, these little gray squares show up. And when my mouse is on one of the gray squares, I get a red box. So when I'm near my stock, I get gray squares in the corners. And when I go to that corner, it's red. So I'm going to click on that one. And then we're going to go to the end of the line that's highlighted here, this green line. I'm going to go to that corner, and you'll see that it's red. I'm going to click on that one. And then I'm going to go to the other corner, like I'm creating my coordinate geometry, um, and I'm going to click on that point. And then it creates a CPL. You want to make sure that the blue is up, the red is going across, and the green is going to the back, just like it would have been on your box bottoms. And that's how you create the CPL.